Now in the previous video, Prism sent me the QE which I sold it away and bought the latest Prism QE Pro. Today we will compare it with Xiaomi P1 just on the picture quality. But before I continue, I want to tell you that this video is sponsored by Nier. Nier is a smart home brand and they specialize in lightings. They have very affordable smart home lightings. Go check out that video that I made earlier on. If you're renovating, I think this is a good chance to try out their lights. Switch off lights. So that is one light bulb from Nier and it only costs $11.90. Now I'm not a professional TV reviewer but as a normal user, I'm just presenting to you what I can see now on screen. So here is the same video that I presented in the previous video. I don't do any settings to make the video look bad. My camera is on manual mode, 1 over 60 shutter speed, aperture of f4 and then the ISO is 160. So TV wise, let's bring up the menu and then for the Xiaomi So Xiaomi detected that this is a HDR video. So immediately the picture profile changed to HDR and then you have the vivid option, you have the movie option. But everything else here is exactly the same as Prism. So you can see that the brightness and the backlight is exactly the same on both TVs. I did not do anything to make, uh, to make it otherwise, but you know, I'll just show you how it is. Okay, so it's just like that. I never do anything funny to the TV. <clears throat> so definitely the colors is a bit more vibrant on the Xiaomi, but let's change the video. So I was watching this BTS video just now and then at the 41 seconds So I noticed this when I was watching BTS video that the guy looked a bit darker on Prism's TV and I'm not sure why, you know, um, because on Prism, on Xiaomi, it looks really good. Ah, you can't see. Let me bring up the exposure. So, okay. Yeah, it's a bit darker on Prism. So every time I change video, I have to increase the ISO. <laughs> Okay, let's leave this video. And then one more interesting one. So I agree with the commenter David that I shouldn't show one video and just say that you know it is not as bright. And then he said that his QE is brighter than Q, which I'm not sure about that because mine was a lot less brighter than the Q. My QE was not brighter and I told Prism they didn't offer me to change the, the panel or what apparently it's kind of like the same on their end as well so I'm not sure uh, whether Q is, <laughs> whether Q should be brighter or QE should be brighter but what I'm seeing now uh, right right in front of my eyes the QE is not as bright as Xiaomi oh okay I gotta <laughs> reduce the exposure again Okay, so Xiaomi is a lot brighter and then on the Prism, it can't go any brighter. Of course, Xiaomi also can't go any brighter with the settings you saw. But again, I want to bring up the settings. So we are definitely able to achieve the same colors with Xiaomi. 
because Xiaomi has one more setting which the prism doesn't okay so we can increase the saturation okay we can decrease the brightness to match prism and if you notice the hair is is gold here and then her hair is red here <laughs> which is kind of funny but anyway let me match okay so under color temperature which you don't get on prism so Xiaomi has a little bit more controls so on color temperature right, you can user define it you can increase the red okay can increase the red let's increase a bit of red to match prism color I don't know how red should I go like this red I don't know but yeah I'm just trying to show you that you have a bit more controls over RGB Okay, let's leave this and yes so you can do what the prism can do as well but the prism just cannot brighten it to the Xiaomi level okay next video By the way, both are IPS panel and they have similar LG technologies. Um, this is a LG video, OLED video. Is OLED LG? Anyway, the yellow is more yellow here. And then on the prism, it is more orangey. So it really depends whether you like a bit more contrast or you prefer the TV to be bright. So let's try this. I think we can also adjust the color. Or what happened to the video? So when it comes to color, you can definitely achieve that. If you like darker colors, you can change it on the video. And reduce the brightness. Okay increases the saturation so now both looks the same ah not sure what happened hdr standard so every every time i change the setting this thing will go haywire because it's a hdr video so you can't change the colors on hdr is that what xiaomi is saying Okay, let's try again if we can increase that. So yeah, it's about the same. Now we have the same we have the same colors on prism. Okay, maybe not so orangey. But yeah, we can achieve what prism can achieve. But prism, on the other hand, I don't think it can ah, I gotta reset this first. Okay, so now let's try to match Prism to Xiaomi. Mm, maybe less saturation. Are we close? When I increase the brightness, the black goes off at the back. It becomes white. So that's why I don't like to touch brightness. So it can't go brighter, but we can decrease the saturation. No, 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 no. The colors go off. That's a mistake. Okay, maybe we increase again. And we increase the contrast. No, it's still very orangey. Um, 
So we want to achieve the same yellow. A bit difficult. <laughs> no, it's not working. So no, we can't achieve that yellow on prism. So yeah, the brightness is like what I said, it's not as bright as Xiaomi. Okay, let's change another video. So this one is an interesting one. Okay, both are IPS panel and if I increase the ISO of my camera, you see that both backlights are, yeah, they have a little bit of backlight here and there. But on the Xiaomi, it looks a bit more bluish and on the Prism, it's a bit greyish. Like I said, this is the IPS nature, there's nothing you can do, but still it's a very good value TV. Okay. It's not that there is anything wrong, it's just the nature of IPS panel. Okay, there's one more good one that I noticed just now. So this is the test. And then we're going to bring it all the way to the back. Okay, this is what I want to show you, the whites. Okay, let's pause it here. And let's bring the Xiaomi to white as well. Okay, <laughs> I know in, in, <laughs> in your screen you are seeing both white, okay? Let me decrease the ISO. Okay, I know you are seeing a bit more blue on screen, but from what I can see in front of me, the Xiaomi is a bit pinkish white and the Prism is a bit bluish white. Not, not very bluish, just a slight, slight tinge. I still think that it's whiter than Xiaomi. So yeah, very interesting. Okay, let me give you another video. So earlier on, on my IG, when I just got the TV, I put out a few videos. Okay, I tried my best to put them on the same uh, timeline. Again, I know that in the video it looks a bit more blue. But right in front of my eyes, I am seeing a whitish background on the Xiaomi. And on the Prism, it looks a bit of cyan blue. Okay, very cyan blue kind of uh, white on the walls, the background, the floor. So I'm not lying to you, I'm just saying it as it is. There's really no point for me to lie to you or to do any settings to show you uh, to, make this, to make any of the TV look bad, okay? I'm just showing you as it is. In fact, I'm not even going to edit this video because I just want to give you a rough cut. Okay, so remember, white background on the Xiaomi, bluish, cyan bluish kind of blue on the background. So that's just how it is. I have no control over how it performs. So there's one more video that I thought it looked really good on Prism. It's a bit slower when it's loading uh, the YouTube video for some reason. I'm referring to the Xiaomi by the way. So uh, Prism is loading the video really, really fast. So Prism is giving a very accurate blue for this video. And then on the Xiaomi, it looks a bit purplish blue. I've never seen this place. I'm not the actual video producer, so I won't know what is the actual color, but I really like the colors on the Prism. And let's move forward. You can see more. 
317. Let's move it to the same timeline. Just be patient with me. I know the video is going to be long because it is an uncut video. So here, again, it's more blue on the prism and it has a bit more purplish tones. So yeah, there's no right or wrong. It doesn't mean that the TV is underperforming. It's just, you know, how it is calibrated. Maybe you can buy, you know, those kind of uh, calibration uh, tool to calibrate it. But, uh, you know, the TV is so cheap. I don't think you should. If Prism could do it, then I think they should correct the colors. And Xiaomi is also not very accurate for this video. Let's look at this uh, Game of Thrones video. Okay, why I show you this video, I got a reason. Because. <laughs> because when they are going to charge, right, okay, you see that the colors are very different. Okay, let's fast forward, let's fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Okay, 454, four. somewhere here. I can't remember the scene, but it was there just now. Where is it? Maybe it's here. So for this very dark scene, I feel that I can see a lot better on the Xiaomi like the faces are a lot brighter oh you can't see again sorry I got to increase the the ISO okay so the blacks are a bit more purplish on the Xiaomi a bit more bluish on the prism but when they start fighting, you will see all the fire on their faces. You see that on the prism, it is more red. And then on the Xiaomi, it is more yellow. Okay, let's fast forward. Where is it? them on the same timeline so here you can see the fire is more red there's more red on your faces the fire is more red on prism and on the Xiaomi it is just more yellow on their faces and on the fire as well but prism doesn't have the RGB control so you can't correct the red or the green or the blue on prism okay that's enough okay oh that's a that's a good one that I want to show you so I did a video on the Poco is it here okay Poco phone interesting about poco phone because this video i want to show you like, when i was holding the phone okay 
you can see clearly here let me lower down the exposure on the camera so if you look at my arm on the video it's a bit more red and darker on the prism and then on the other side you see that my hands are a bit more closer to my skin tone and the white on top right hand side is also brighter compared to the prism so the phone itself you can also see that it's darker on the prism and brighter on the Xiaomi so this is my recent video on the near smart home light first scene So this is much more clearer that definitely there's more red on the prism and for Xiaomi that is closer to my skin tone I look like a red ang pao on the prism <laughs> uh, yeah so I don't like this kind of like over contrast over saturation but yeah Xiaomi has a fair share of that as well okay enough of the videos want to talk about let's return to the home screen so prism told me that they recently added this uh, view to their tv uh, i think you can download it but you just can't use it but they worked with view to get it sorted out i don't think you can use view on xiaomi yet but prism is a local brand it's a singaporean brand definitely I think that if um, I think that they will definitely put in more localized content for example me watch I think they will work with them to get it approved and running on their TVs because prism is after all a Singapore company definitely they will work to put in more localized apps apps that Singaporeans want to use I think they will do their part to put that in but for Xiaomi I don't think so I don't think they will put in more localized apps or apps that Singaporeans like to use so this part I, I do see the effort from Prism they put in a lot of effort to make sure that you know Singaporeans have what they want on this TV but Xiaomi is too far away and, and this TV sells to every part of the world they can't just uh, localize it just for Singapore maybe they will I'm not sure but at this point it is what it is so like I said this video I present to you the videos as is I did not do any settings my camera is on manual mode and if you ask me the big difference between these two TVs um, is that Xiaomi has MEMC for motion smoothing so if you are very sensitive to motion you don't like the judders then Xiaomi is a good choice they are selling at 799 with a free vacuum and then Prism is selling at um, 979 after a $20 discount so I leave it to you you know you decide what you want there is no perfect TV every TV has a bit of flaws and yeah that's it for this video wow 23 minutes <laughs> I hope you lasted to this to this end okay I'll see you in the next video bye